Welcome to the next session of differential equation. Till now we studied the first order, first degree differential equation and how to find the solution of that differential equation. Now today we study the higher order linear differential equation with constant coefficient. If we have an equation del n y by del x n plus k1 d n minus 1 y d x n minus 1 plus k n minus 1 dy dx plus k n y equal to x. So this is the higher order differential equation. Then we consider the k as the constant and k is the function of x. We have n equal to 2 so that will be the second order. If we have n equal to 3 then that will be the third order. As the n increases the order decreases. So it used for the higher order differential equation. We have constant k equal to f of x. We consider d is equal to d by dx. So that is called differential operator. This d is called differential operator. If we use 1 by d so that will be the integral operator. So we call this equation as f of d. Yes, this whole equation is called f of d because this is a differential operator. If we have integration then that will be the 1 by d. So we call it as f of d of y equal to x. So, solution of this equation will be in the two form. First is called complementary function and second is called particular integral. In today's lecture, we study the how to find the complementary function and then in next part we study the how to find the particular integral. Now this is our differential equation f of dy equal to x. There are two cases to find the solution. Case first, if x equal to 0, then f of dy is equal to 0. This equation called homogeneous. linear differential equation means when we have x equal to 0 then f of d of y equal to 0 is called homogeneous linear differential equation here the solution will be solution will be only cf means complementary function case 2. If x is not equal to 0, then f d y is equal to x is called non-homogeneous linear differential equation. Remember these two cases that will help you in the gate exam. If x equal to 0, then our equation becomes f d y equal to 0 is called homogeneous equation, homogeneous linear equation. And if x is not equal to 0, then f of d y is equal to x is called non-homogeneous linear differential equation. And in this, the solution will be cf plus pi means complementary function plus particular integral. Procedure to find the cf. cf means the complementary function. As x equal to 0, f of dy is equal to 0. Means the solution of this equation will be only cf. If we have x here, then that solution will be cf plus particular integral. 
so how to find the cf there are the four rules to find the cf value here first real and distinct if we got the root d is m1 m2 or m3 then cf will be c1 e raised to m1 x plus c2 e raised to m2 x plus c3 e raised to m3 x if we got a root real or distinct if we got a root if we got a root real and repeated and d will be m1 m1 means same m same root and m3 then our complementary function will be c1 plus c2 x e raised to m1 x means c1 c2 get combined and e raised to m1 x plus c3 e raised to m3 x these are for the real roots and distinct or repeated if we have complex root means if we, the root containing i so that will be complex and distinct d equal to a plus or minus i b m3 so they are having the difference in this cf will be e raised to ax x the value of a c1 cos bx the value of b plus c2 sin bx then plus c3 e raised to m3 x is same as this one only difference is comp uh, only difference is complex number in the last one complex and repeated means root having complex and repeated so d equal to a plus or minus i b a plus or minus i b m means this value will be repeated so cf will be e raised to a x c1 plus c2 x cos b x means this combined like this c2 c3 plus c4 x sin b x plus c5 e raised to m x these are the rule to find out the value of c i explain you with the help of the example the first equation d square by dx square minus 5 dy by dx plus 6y equal to 0 this value of x and this is the f of dy so this is value of x will be 0 that means this is the linear homogeneous equation that means we have to find only cf means complementary function so for that let we put d by dx as a d it's a differential operator so our equation become d square minus 5d plus 6 equal to 0 so we can find is this equation like a x square minus 5x plus 6 as like that so we can find the root of this so root will be d square minus 3d minus 2d plus 6 equal to 0 so that will be here d will get common d minus 3 minus 2 common d minus 3 so d minus 3 and d minus 2 equal to 0 so root will be 3 or 2 so these are the root then these are the real and distinct so we use the first rule so that will be cf is the solution that gives c1 e raised to m1x plus c2 e raised to m2x so our m will be 3 or 1 whatever is it it c1 e raised to 2x plus c2 e raised to 3x so that will be the our solution of this differential equation next problem d raised to 4y dx raised to 4 minus 81y means is the fourth order so to find the solution that will be d raised to 4 minus 81 equal to 0 then we have to find the uh, roots of the equation so that will be d square minus 9 d square plus 9 equal to 0 means when we have a square plus b square that will be a plus b a minus b so this is the form if we transfer in this side so that will be plus or minus 3 because the square of plus will be 3 and min square of minus 3 will be 9 because 9 is the square of plus 3 and minus 3 that's why root will be plus 3 or minus 3 here we get minus 
so we cannot find the roots of this so for that we have to put the complex variable that i so there will be t plus or minus 3i so we got a real and this a distinct root and we got a complex and distinct root so we have to find the solution of this equation so that will be y c1 e raised to m1x plus c2 e raised to m2x this is for real and distinct and we now put the uh, roots uh, now we put the solution for the complex and distinct so that will be e raised to ax c3 cos bx plus c4 sin bx so we put the value of this then our solution will be y equal to c1 e raised to 3x plus c2 e raised to minus 3x plus here the value of a will be 0 because it will be a i b so here we have only i b not a so that's why the equation will be c3 cos 3x plus c4 sin 3x so this is our final solution